Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Hut Roulette, and today we're bringing guys episode number 8. And last episode, we ended off with a 10 game win streak, and we're trying to bring it up to an 11 and a 12th game win streak this episode. So, lots of things to look forward to, and hopefully, we can buy another pack as well. So, anyways, we are right now in Division 5. We got 8 points in the season. We're just a few points away from winning the division title, so that will be coming very shortly, and I will be facing some harder opponents very soon. So, uh, I read some of your comments, and I did forget to add the change team to uh, one of the players because I did get a shutout. So, I decided. Instead of putting a change team on the offense, I'm going to put it on the defense, putting it on the goaltender first, uh, because I think Roberto Luongo is going to stay on the team for quite some time. Same with Nicholas Cronwell, so I want to get that chemistry boosted up, and uh, probably Jason Garrison is the next one coming up. So, anyways, we're going to be starting up this game nice and quickly, but not too many changes with the team since last episode, other than Thomas Tatar on the fourth line left wing, as well as a couple defenders like Jason Garrison, the milestone card we picked up, for the 10 game win streak as well as Postma and I think that's about it. Stefan Robita has been moved down because uh, Jason Garrison has moved down everybody including Jake Gardner and Mark Stahl. So anyways, let's get the first game going. Let's see if we can win. Alright, we're getting this game going. I apologize about the background noise. Uh, there's some people playing some music upstairs, but hopefully you guys don't mind too much. Anyways, we're facing a Montreal fan. I saw that he had Carlson on his team, so we're facing a lot of opponents with good players now, so we gotta watch out just a little bit. Anyways, let's get this game going. Let's see if we can uh, score some goals here, and uh, get this game going. Oh no, he's got a breakaway. Come on, flying Pokerooney! Oh, what a move! And he gets by Roberto Luongo. Oh man, I think this is the first game where we lost the lead right off the bat. It's pretty... not too good. He's got two shots on net, and he uh, Roberto Luongo lets one in with a flying poke check, so... Nick Letty as well with a breakaway. Oh man, a defender also scoring that. Alright, I think he got a little bit lucky there, but we gotta get that goal back. Hopefully we can tie it back up. Oh, what a play right off the faceoff. Patrick Marlowe with a slap shot from the hash marks once again. And uh, he scores us a nice goal, tying it back up. That is what I'm talking about, beating Roberto Luongo as well. That was a nice goal. Oh my goodness, Marlowe again with a snipe. He got another penalty and Patrick Marlowe is absolutely lethal in this game. That's what I'm talking about. The second liner pulling off some nice moves there and scoring a goal. 2-1 to one now. Let's keep it, keep it up. Oh, what a move and what a goal. Milan Lucic. How the hell did he score that goal? I did the windmill and then went right through the five hole of Luongo, right through the wickets. Let's take another look at that move, but Lucic, I'm starting to like him a little bit more in NHL 16. He's a really good player. Anyways, that was a nice goal by Lucic, let's keep it up. We got a two goal lead now. Come on, we got this guys. And there we have it guys, end of the first period, and I'm liking the lead so far, we're winning 3-1, to 8-3 to three in shots, 2 minutes, time on attack to 1 minute and 10 seconds. Let's try to get Marlo the hat trick, and hopefully we can upgrade his card, or put a plus 5 all on him. So anyways, let's keep it up guys, let's see what we can do. Oh, what? Another weird goal. Brian Boyle with a three-game ga three game goal, or three-goal game, three-game goal streak? Three-game goal streak. I don't know what happened there, but the puck just popped right out of the net. Uh, it just flew out after I shot the puck. Let's take another look once again. But look at that. Brian Boyle absolutely wiring it, and he makes no mistake scoring that goal. Oh, beautiful goal by him. Not gonna lie, that was pretty nice. Patch already, backward skating and slap shots of puck, beating Roberto Luongo. Not a bad goal. Uh, we gotta make sure that we don't lose the lead now, especially when there's only 14 minutes left in the third period. Let's keep it up. Oh, who scored that? Oh, I thought that was Patrick Marlowe who scored it. But Bodker gets a nice little touch on it, and it just beats Luongo once again. 
Well, man, these goals I'm scoring are so garbage. Anyway, it's 5-2 to two now. Only 13 minutes left in the third. And there we have it, guys. We win with a score of 5-2. to two. Not too hard of a game, but that means we continue our streak from a 10-game win streak to an 11-1. 11-game win streak. So, let's take a look at the amount of shots, and we'll go ahead and buy that player. Alright, so 23-10 to 10 in shots. 6 minutes time on attack to 5. Uh, not too hard of a game for sure. And let's take a look at the 3 stars as well. Couldn't get Patrick Marleau with a hat trick, but he did get two goals and one assist, giving him three points this game. Alongside with Brian Boyle uh, getting three points as well, which is pretty nice. As well as Nick Letty on the other team getting the third star. So anyways, let's choose the 23rd player here and let's see what we get. Alright guys, so everything is ready. The buy now minimum has been set to 11,000. The collection type has been put onto players. So let's see what we get. Come on! Hopefully something good that we can add onto the team like a superstar. Alright, so the 23rd player is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, James Neal, the real deal, is now going to be on the team. I'm going to try my best not to overuse that pun. But anyways, we're going to buy him out, and we're going to see where he fits in. Alright guys, so welcome back to the team. We have slotted in James Neal onto the second line, and we have done a lot of moving around for players at least. Blake Wheeler, that was on the left wing side, has been put onto the right wing. We're going to see if he can play maybe a little bit better. I don't exactly know yet. Uh, but we did have to sacrifice a little bit of chemistry, putting Forsberg onto the third line, instead of moving Niederreiter down to the fourth, which is a little bit unfortunate, but uh, Forsberg hasn't really been producing that much. That's why I'm moving on to third line, giving him a little bit more of a, I guess, penalty kill role. Kind of. So anyways, that is how the team is looking with James Neal in the team. Let's get the second game going. Let's see what we can do. Alright, second game is about to start. Holy crap. Kessel, Drew, and Ben on his first line. Hopefully James Neal will add a little bit more depth into our team. He's got Char as well. Oh man, I gotta be a little bit careful. This is definitely gonna be a test. For a hot roulette team. I don't know. This is still Division 5, so maybe he isn't too hard. The teams don't matter too much, but we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, we can pull up the win. Nice save by Niemi. Oh, beautiful pass. Oh, Lucci was wide open, point blank, but couldn't get the cross creaser in. Oh, and there it is. He gets a goal. My phone was going off. I kind of want to check it, but there it is. I don't know who exactly that was. Maybe that was Jamie Ben, but he makes it one to nothing. Oh, man. Darren Helm. He's got some speed on his team. Kessel, Goudreau, and uh, Haglin. Got to be careful with that lineup. Anyways, it is now one to nothing. We got to get that goal back. Oh, and there it is, Patrick Marlowe once again, uh, scoring those clutch goals, and we have tied it back up. He was ragging the puck a little bit. I was afraid that we might not have been able to get the puck back, but with that goal, it just gives us a little bit more life in us. So, one to one now. Let's get some more goals. All right, so end of the first period, and let's take a look at the stats here. 10 to 6 in shots, 1 minute and 39 seconds time on attack, to 2 minutes and 20. He's shooting from everywhere, from the blue line all the way to the hash mark. So I got to watch out just a little bit for those tip shots, if those do go in still. But anyways, it's still 1 to 1. Let's keep it up. Yes, there is a goal. He plays it right out to Gergensen's, I think. I'm pretty sure that's Gergensen's. Yeah, and he tucks it in right past his goalie. I don't exactly know who his goalie is either, but we're now winning 2-1. to one. A Anti Niemi got a nice little goal there. Zemgis Gergensen, that's what I'm talking about. Just throws the puck out, getting a little poke check on there. A little bit of a weak backhand, but it still trickles in. 2-1 to one now. Let's keep it up. What? How did that go in? Another garbage goal by Thomas Tatar. A pass. Uh, I think that was to Thomas Tatar passed to Niederreiter, I think. And uh, it just goes right through the five hole. Kind of a weird glitchy goal there. Let's take another look at that. Thomas Tatar, nice little pass there. Oh my goodness. There's the EA uh, 
NHL 16 for you. There it is. Nice goal. I'll take it any day. 3-1 to one now. We've got a little bit of in some insurance. Oh, that is how you do it. I think he's going to rage quit after that one. There was some nice passing plays right there, and we scored, making it 4-1. to one. And that is the finishing goal. 14 and 14 shots, 4 minutes time on attack to 3. Our finishing is right now extremely lethal in the offensive zone. So anyways, we're going to be raising that buy now minimum to 12,000 and buying a gold pack. So I'll meet you guys there. Alright, so the last episode, we started off with buying the player first, so I'm going to buy the 8750 first this time. See if our luck turns around, maybe pull one of the special cards or team of the weeks that are out right now. So let's do that first, and let's see what we get. Come on, show us something good. Hopefully an 86 plus player, or maybe even a good centerman. I would not mind a centerman. Alright, here we go. And we're going to get a Clef Bomb. That's not a bad player for sure. Uh, but no team of the weeks here. Uh, could replace maybe a guy like uh, our right defender. Maybe Postma. Don't exactly know yet. I kind of like Postma on the right defender spot anyway. So anyways, these are the players we had. We can't really use them. But maybe uh, we'll use Clef Bomb. Because we should be using some players from the packs. So let's go ahead and buy that player now. Alright, so once again, the buy now range has been set to 12,000. That is a pretty crazy buy now minimum. That's going to filter out a whole bunch of players. So hopefully, this pickup is better than the pack. Alright, so the 14th player is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Wayne Simmons. Definitely a pretty good right winger. I'm excited to use him. I've never tried him out this year. So we're going to throw him onto the team, buy him out, and see where he fits in. Alright guys, so we're just about to wrap up this episode. But I just want to show you guys that we did put in Oscar Clefbaum into the third line right defensive spot that we pulled from the pack earlier. As well as Wayne Simmons has been fitted in. However, I will leave where Wayne Simmons should fit in up to you guys. Uh, feel free to post in the comment box below uh, some line suggestions where Wayne Simmons should fit in. Maybe you guys think he should be a third line role or a second line role or maybe even a first line role. But honestly, Patrick Marlowe has been playing lights out so far. Uh, so you guys can decide in the comments what the team should be looking like so far. Because I don't exactly want Wayne Simmons playing on the fourth line right wing. But for sure, I am up for suggestions. Anyways, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're enjoying this series so far, leave a like. Let me know that you guys are liking it so far. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye. Davidson, yeah, that's a bad pack. We got about two more packs for the 8750s. Can we get something good? Let's see it. And then we'll do uh, a lot of uh, 17,500 packs after. See if the luck changes. But come on, next pack. Oh, Henry.